All right. Hey, today what I want to do is start this series of videos on how to uh, increase your EEAT for your blog posts and your blog niche. And EEAT is expertise, experience, authority, and trustworthiness. And so uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do this using Claude.ai, uh, the chatbot from Anthropic. So let's go ahead and get this video started. So here we are in Claude. And before we start prompting Claude to do anything, let's talk a little bit about EEAT. So again, EEAT, experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. And so uh, the big deal with EEAT, it's a quality ranking that Google looks, looks at. So uh, it isn't a search engine ranking factor, at least according to what I can find out, but it is a quality ranking factor. And the problem with a lot of blog posts uh, they're good uh, from the standpoint of the data that they've gone out, grabbed, and then created their own unique blog post from the data that they scrape. But unfortunately, it doesn't have much first-person types of information in them. And really, what you're trying to do is show people that, hey, this is my blog niche. Here are the articles that I've written. And here's why you should believe me and think that I'm an expert in this field. And to do that, you need some first-person stories. So as you look at this prompt, what we're going to do is create a prompt that Claude will take and then create a first-person story that we can insert inside a blog post. So let me uh, show you an example. So here's a, a blog post that I created. It's called, Do You Need Gloves for Mountain Biking? A Complete Guide. And the one thing that's really missing here is some kind of first person story where I talk about why there is a need for mountain biking gloves. Because ultimately what I'm trying to do is convert a reader into a buyer. So this will end up being uh, the type of post that could be an Amazon affiliate post where you share some of your favorite mountain biking gloves. But to just tell somebody why they need mountain biking gloves from the standpoint of, hey, you know, it's a safety factor. Gloves are more comfortable. You know, they can read that blog post a dozen different places. So what you need to do is make it somewhat unique Tell a first-person story about why mountain biking gloves are essential if you're a mountain bike rider. So, you know, this post is a, is a good post. It's 3,800 words long. It's very detailed. Talks about why you need to have mountain biking gloves. I have my own pictures of my own mountain biking gloves in it, which is really helpful. They're not just stock photos but I didn't tell any stories about why mountain biking gloves are important to me as a rider. So even though it's got this very complete post, uh, it's missing uh, a first person story or stories that would help uh, increase the EEAT of this particular blog post. So how are we going to do this? Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we'll take a look at this prompt series. So it's a series of prompts that, that I've created. I'm gonna use them in Claude, and Claude's going to create a first person story that I can use for this post about mountain biking gloves. So you'll notice the first prompt is, do you know how first person stories increase EEAT for a blog post? The reason I use this prompt is I'm just sort of priming Claude, helping Claude to understand what it is we're driving at and what kind of data I want to get out of it. And then I ask it if I share some information for a first person story for a blog topic, can you use this to create some content for a specific blog post? Answer yes or no. Uh, and then I have the actual prompt and I have the various places where you're going to input some data in bold. So let's go ahead and get Claude up and running and let's start off with this first prompt. So I am assuming you've probably heard of Claude by now, Claude.ai. It's from Anthropic. It is the competitor to ChatGPT. 
So let's go get this prompt. Let's pop it in here and get going. So do you know how first-person stories increase EEAT for a blog post? And we'll let Claude go ahead and answer that. And again, this is just to prime Claude to help it understand what we're driving at. So the first-person story that it creates is more complete and usable. So it's answered that. So let's, let's go ahead and put the second prompt in. So the second prompt again, if I share some information for a first-person story for a blog topic, can you use this to create some content for a specific blog post? Answer yes or no. And really all it's going to do is come back and tell me, yes, I can do this. Uh, and, and so now we can move on to the final prompt, which is really the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. Now, some people may be saying, couldn't you just enter this prompt here and let Claude do its thing? I could. Uh, I just think it's going to give a better answer by priming it first because it is a conversational chat bot. So um, just putting in a single prompt without some kind of extra data for context, uh, I just think when you add that context, you're gonna get a better output out of the tool. So let's copy that. Go back to Claude. Drop it in. So this is where I'm gonna go ahead and fill in uh, all the different areas that I have here that are in bold. So what I'm going to do is fill that in, fill these in, and when I've completed it, we'll take a look at what I put in here, and then we'll let Claude create the first-person story for that blog post that I just showed you. All right, so I went ahead, and after priming Claude with those first two prompts, I filled in this next one. So I put in my blog post topic, do you need gloves for mountain biking? And then it, when it asks, share a personal story in the first person perspective about my experience. Uh, I said, I put in mountain biking and why gloves were critical to me while riding. Describe when and where this took place. So when I crashed my mountain bike and landed with both hands on the trail, it took place on a rocky rough trail. Here are the challenges I faced. I landed with my weight on both hands. The rocks on the trail ripped my gloves. And the mistakes I made, I was riding too fast on a new trail. And then based on my background with obviously mountain biking, here are two to three tips related to wearing gloves while mountain biking, including don't ride too fast on new trails, wear good mountain bike gloves to prevent bad hand injuries. And the last tip, even though my gloves got ripped, they prevented a bad hand injury and allowed me to finish my ride, write it in markdown format. So let's see what kind of story Claude puts together that we could add to that post. So here's what it put together. So I'm not sure if I would put in this heading, that's up to you. Uh, if it makes sense for your blog post, go ahead and do that. Um, you may just put it as another, you know, as a section underneath the introduction. Uh, but, but that's up to you. You can put it where you want it. So let's see, what did it say? So we'll go through this. I've been an avid mountain biker for over 10 years now. I ride on trails in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but even experienced riders like myself, myself still make mistakes. I learned the hard way how critical a good pair of mountain biking gloves could be. So it happened last summer while I was riding on a new trail. Talks about riding on technical rocky sections. I was flung over the handlebars, landing hard on both hands in the middle of the trail. I could feel the jagged rocks ripping through my gloves as I slid to a stop. So my body was bruised but intact. However, I looked both, both palms completely shredded through the gloves. If I hadn't been wearing gloves, my hands and palms would have been badly torn up and bleeding. So um, I learned a valuable lesson. And then, of course, it goes through and talks about the three points that I brought up. And then it gives a little uh, paragraph at the end. Your hands are fragile. Don't hit trails without gloves. So you can see how it put together this first-person story. Now, if you think it's too long, just ask Claude to rewrite it. 
So you could do something like, please rewrite this in a shorter, oops, shorter, comma, concise manner. And we'll see what it gives us. So here we get, you know, uh, just three quick paragraphs with the first person story. So either one would work well. It just depends on how, uh, you know, long you want the story to be. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind, you can add multiple first person stories within a blog post if you think it's necessary. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put this blog post in a couple places. Uh, if you uh, haven't seen my website yet, you can go to mikeshuey.com. I'll have this uh, series of prompts there. Uh, and I'll also um, add it in the description for this video if you prefer to uh, go there instead. So either place, my website or the description will have the prompt. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, I think it's a great way to increase your EEAT and add some first-person stories. Now, you may have your own original stories to add, but if you don't, this is a good way to do it. Um, just make sure, like with any uh, content that you get from an AI tool, you'll want to proofread it, you'll want to edit it, and like I showed you here, um, if you need it to be... Uh, condensed. You can also do that using Claude as well. So that's it for now. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.